squatting. Sorry, I was just doing a few squats. I kind of like to get my little body magic in while I'm cooking at times, but I'll stand still for this. Hi everyone, I'm Sal Henley. I'm from the Slimming World Golden Bus Tour from last summer. I don't know if you joined us, but we had a fantastic time, and if you came along, thank you so much. We are in different times now though. We are doing virtual Slimming World groups, which some of you might be attending, and otherwise we are at home, like yourselves, with my nieces who are filming this. They're doing it on a mobile phone, not a camera or a video camera or anything like that. We are all here hunkering down. So we thought at Slimming World, why not create some free food recipes? So we're gonna do Sal's store covered cooking. This involves using things from your freezer, your fridge and your store cupboard. And we're gonna do chili con carne. So we're gonna use things that you can get from your store cupboard. In fact, this is a great recipe because it just uses one fresh item, which is about 500 grams of lean beef mince. And make sure it's 5% or less fat, and then you'll be sticking with a food optimizing plan. Here we got four cans, um, you'll probably recognize a can of tomato for a chili con carne, and some beans. I haven't got kidney beans, but I've got mixed bean salad, so I'm gonna put that in. And then good old baked beans. Baked beans are just haricot beans with a tomato sauce, so that's perfect. And then sweet corn. I mean, you know, I know it's not traditional with chili con carne, but we're not in traditional times at the moment. Uh, Tommy puree, and uh, we've got a couple of stock cubes, paprika, chili powder, Worcestershire sauce, and this is a great product, frozen onion. So if you have things like peppers or onions going off, and you don't, can't use them up in time, you could always just chop those up and put those in the freezer and use them for something like this. So let's get cooking the chili con carne. So we're gonna start cooking the chili con carne. Again, your non-stick deep pan is gonna be the tool or the pan of your choice for this. So we're gonna add in the frozen onions. And look, it's the equivalent to one onion. So, I mean, it's about that, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Then we're going to add in this mince. Now, when you do this, just break it up with your hands. It does actually really help with it cooking more evenly. A lot of people get in there and they use a wooden spoon to break it up, etc. But I think this is the best way to do it. So just take it and separate it through your hands. Just make sure they're nice and clean before you do that. And this is 5% fat beef mince, okay? So to keep on the optimizing plan, that's what we need to use. And you just put them in together. I don't believe on um, this dish, because we're gonna cook it for half an hour, you can just cook both the onions and the beef mince together. So we're gonna let that cook. I'm gonna give that a quick stir. And then I'm going to come back to that uh, when the onions and the uh, beef has cooked through, and we'll add the other ingredients. So now the beef and the onions completely cooked. Great, let's get all the other ingredients in there. Now, it's up to you what you want to use. I've got mild chilli powder here, um, but you could use medium or hot, depending how on how your family likes it. I reckon I'm gonna add about two tablespoons. So just give it a tap on the thing if it's a bit stuck in there. And then I'm gonna use some paprika. And again, I think about two of each. So it's just two and two. But you know, if you're a bit scared of spices, then just add one at a time. So that's about one we did there and about two, okay? Then we're gonna do two tablespoons of tomato puree, but I just kind of do that, that's about right. Squidge of that, squidge of that. Cooking should be fun and you should just, you know, go with your own style. But if you're not feeling very confident, then follow one of our amazing recipes in the cookbooks or online. There's lots of uh, different chili con carnies on there. And I'm just doing this version because I've got the ingredients here. So now what we've done is we've cooked out the spices. That's quite an important part to this dish. With anything where you're adding spices in, just cook it for one or two minutes over the heat. And that sort of toasts the spices and cooks out the tomato puree, which is a good little tip there. Then we're gonna go to all the canned foods. So like I said, I've just got mixed beans here. I haven't got just kidney beans. And I'm just gonna put the water in. Why not? It's just water. And then there's some um, chopped tomatoes. Again, if you don't have chopped tomatoes, use peeled tomatoes, even fresh tomatoes if you've got those. And then, you know, baked beans. 
It's beans and a tomato sauce. And what would we put in there? We put beans and tomatoes. So why not use that? And then a can of sweet corn. Again, I haven't even drained off the water. I couldn't be bothered. Because again, it's water. And there you go. I'm a very clumsy cook. <laughs> it's good old home cooking, though. Uh, and then we're going to add in two stock cubes, like so. And then Worcestershire sauce is everyone's favourite. So let's add that in. That's our store covered secret as well. So a couple of tablespoons, which is, I sort of do that. I know what a tablespoon roughly is. So I just put this in like that. And we can always alter the seasoning at the end. And then we're just going to give that a really good stir. I'm not going to add seasoning quite yet. We're going to do that at the end. And I'm just going to simmer that for about 30 minutes. And then we'll see what it's like. It might need a little bit more water or not. And I think when you do a chili con carne, it's even better if you do batch cooking and then freeze half that you don't use. For some reason, when you freeze it, the crystals in it, when you come to defrost it and recook it, it tastes even more delicious. So the longer you can cook something, the better, I find. So we'll just come back to that in about half an hour's time. But that's essentially what it looks like. Yum. Looking forward to that. So there we go. The chili con carne is done. After 30 minutes, it looks like that. And I really like that little addition of sweet corn that's gonna add a nice little kind of nuttiness to it. Like I said, if you want to cook it for a bit longer, do, just add a bit of water accordingly. So how are we gonna serve it? Well, there's a number of ways. You could serve it with rice, and you could have vegetables. Make sure a third of your plate is filled with the vegetables, or a lovely salad as well, a third of the plate. Or what about um, a jacket potato? Or even using it a bit like a fajita filling and using it between um, lettuce leaves with other salad and maybe a lovely fresh tomato salsa on top and then you can eat it like that. We're gonna eat it as a family later, so we'll come back to that when we serve it up.